Today is all about crocheted baby blankets. We're going to be talking about the different sizes. I'm going to be sharing all about these gorgeous colorful projects as well as my favorite yarn and I have something else special in store for you. I'm Elise from the blog LePetiteSaintCrochet.com and I just want to let you know that you're going to find links for everything in the description box below. So if you're looking for the pattern or the yarn or the playlist that I'm going to share with you, you'll find it all there. But I'm teaming up with Dana from This Yellow Farmhouse and she has gathered up a group of crafty ladies who are sharing all of our favorite baby crocheted and knitted projects. So make sure to check out the entire playlist because you're going to find a ton of inspiration. Let's first talk about baby blanket sizes and initially I did a Google search and I found a ton of information and it was a little bit confusing and there were so many different sizes and lengths and widths and all of these things that I just got a little bit kerfuffled in my brain and finally I found just a great little article from the Spruce Crafts and it laid out three different sizes and I thought this was really perfect. So they said that a preemie size is 26 inches by 34 inches, a newborn size is 30 inches by 34 inches, and a toddler size is 36 inches by 44 inches. Now all of those dimensions do not include the border. So if you're looking to make blankets that are the quote unquote correct sizes, those would be the measurements that I would personally be looking at. But for me, I wouldn't even look at those. I would just judge what would a baby size blanket be be because some babies need bigger blankets, some babies need smaller blankets. Sometimes you just want a baby blanket for yourself, which is what I do a lot. And sometimes they end up being lap blanket sized, but I thought I would share those recommendations that way in case you're curious and would like to know what exactly are the sizes of baby blankets. So for each one of these blankets, I've used a couple of different yarns, but my absolute favorite is the Stylecraft Special DK. And there's a few reasons why I I really like this yarn. Number one, it comes in like 89 different colors. So you can really customize your blanket to any color combination that you want. Number two, it's really affordable, which is great because when you're making a blanket, you're going to use a lot of yarn. Number three, it is 100% acrylic and washes really well. And number four, it is incredibly soft. And number five, this one does not pill or shed, which is really great for an affordable yarn. So if you're looking for a yarn and you don't already have one in your stash, this is one that I would highly recommend. But of course, there are tons of different yarns that will work great for crocheted baby blankets. So the first project we're going to talk about is actually from this book called Granny Square's 20 Crochet Projects with a Vintage Vibe. I really like this book. The only thing to know is that it is UK crochet terms, which I'm glad I actually knew that when I started making this blanket. This one is actually the largest one I've made and would be closer to a toddler size, but I am absolutely in love with this project so very much. So here's what happened. I ended up with a ton, and I mean a ton, of paint box wool mix Aran yarn. I do not recommend it for making a blanket, but I had a ton of it and I wanted to use it up, and most of it was super, super colorful, and I don't use those colors a lot in my Amigurumi projects, my crocheted toys, but I wanted to use this yarn up. I am really in a phase of wanting to use up what I have, not buying a lot of extra yarn that I don't need. I want to use what I already have in my stash. So I decided that a blanket was the best thing to use, even though it's a wool mix and it's not practical as a baby blanket at all. But even though I used that yarn, I cannot get over how gorgeous this blanket is. So they're all individual granny squares and they are all three different different colors with the white background. And I just had so much fun making this blanket and coming up with the different color combinations. So I would finish one square and I would move on to the next one and look through my stash and pick out the different three colors that I was going to use together. And it was just an absolute joy to make this. And I ended up using the join as you go method 
method, which is my favorite method for making granny square blankets because I like joining it as I'm crocheting it because it makes me feel like I'm actually making progress. So it is super warm and it is super, super gorgeous. The thing that I decided to do was instead of using the border that's in the book, I decided to get out my book, The Crocheted Borders from Edie Ekman. I decided I wanted to look through here and pick out something really special. So I found one that it didn't matter what the stitch count was and it was colorful and it was beautiful and it was a way for me to use up more of the yarn. Also the reason why I picked this one was that it said that it would create a bit of a ruffle on the edge and let me just tell you I am a big fan of ruffled edges on blankets. I just think it's really pretty and feminine and it would be perfect for a baby blanket whether the baby is a boy or a girl. I made a single crochet around the entire blanket in the white just to make it a nice even edge around the whole thing. And then I followed the pattern with the next one, two, three, four rows and it just turned out beautiful and I love adding the little colors and I feel like it ties the whole blanket together. Every night now, it's pretty cold here right now in North Carolina and I have super drafty windows and in the evenings when I sit down to crochet or knit, I throw this over my lap and it keeps me nice and warm and then our kitten pickle loves to come and curl up in my lap with the blanket and he likes it too. So I really love this one and I just think it is so gorgeous and it's a great way to use up a bunch of yarn that you already have in your stash. The next crocheted baby blanket is this Primavera Flower Square by Dada's Place. This is one of my favorite crocheted blankets that I have ever made. I think that it is so incredibly gorgeous and what's wonderful, it's actually a free pattern and a photo tutorial on Dada's Place website. What I love about this one is that it is so classic and it really just reminds me of something right out of The Secret Garden. I love that it alternates a colorful square and then a monochrome square and I love that it's the off-white and just the pretty flowers with the little green leaves around the edges. Unfortunately I don't remember what yarn I used for this one. It's actually quite soft and really pretty but I just added a pretty bobble border on the edge and you can just google any of those on the internet and there are lots of YouTube tutorials for how to do those as well but I just think this one turned out so gorgeous. The way I joined the squares together was by holding them together and single crocheting through the edges of them. I think it turned out really pretty to see almost like a lattice work. It just reminds me of a beautiful garden and I hope you guys really like it too. The next project is the Sunburst Granny Baby Blanket, and this is actually from the book Vintage Style Crochet Projects. I did an entire video about this book because I think it is one of the most unique crochet books I have ever come across. And one thing that I love about this blanket is that you actually have some different blocks here. They're not all the same, and that's what I think makes this one really interesting. And the pattern really goes through and shows exactly where you want to add the squares that don't have as much color where there are only two colors, but I think it just turns out so beautiful. I used the exact colors that were in the pattern. I actually probably would have never put the pinks and the reds and the teal colors all together, but I'm so glad I did because I think this one just turned out so beautiful. For this baby blanket, I used the yarn that was recommended in the book, which is the DMC Natura Just Cotton. This is my favorite cotton yarn, and I don't use a lot of cotton. But when it comes to this fiber, this one is about the softest one I have ever used before. The only problem with it is that it is a very splitty yarn. So if that bothers you, this one might not be for you, but I do love it. And what's really gorgeous about this blanket is that it's super drapey and it just, oh, it just feels so nice against your skin. And for the border, you just make these beautiful stripes along the edges. And I just think it's simple, but it's gorgeous. It truly is vintage inspired. This next blanket is the Granny Goes Large Crocheted Baby Blanket by Sandra Paul by Cherry Heart. I loved, loved, loved making this blanket. Number one, I used the Stylecraft Special DK yarn and it's just such a joy to work with and it's so squishy and soft. But number two, this is the most 
I don't wanna use the word mindless because that almost sounds negative, but it is a meditative project to work on because it's basically just one big old huge granny square. You start in the middle and then you just keep adding rows, adding rows until you get the size that you want. And I just love this one so much because number one, I made this when my son was actually in the hospital last year and I actually did a video all about it as well. And it was something that really kept me calm during a very stressful time. And I made about 90% of this blanket in a week hospital stay because I would just pick it up and I could just do round after round after round after round. And it is just beautiful. I love these colors. And of course I added a ruffle border here because I love a ruffled edge. I think it looks so pretty. And what I love about this blanket is that you could literally use any colors you want. You could match a nursery. You could make one in girl colors, boy colors, gender neutral, whatever you wanted to do. It could go with any baby nursery as well. So I just love this one. And especially if you are newer to crocheting, this would be my recommendation. If you're looking for your very first baby blanket to whip up, this would be the one that I would recommend. This is probably the smallest baby blanket that I have made. So it's probably closer to a preemie size, but it is one of my favorite favorites. I love this one so much. This is a free tutorial from Bella Coco Crochet. It's the Sunburst Granny Square. I love granny squares with white backgrounds and this one is just so incredibly gorgeous. I also use the join as you go method as you can see and I love that you can just add any color combination and I love these bright cheerful colors. It just makes me so happy to look at it and for this one I added a little pom-pom or a bobble edge and you'll find a link for the border in the description box if you want to make this exact border. This one is probably the most time consuming of all of these blankets just because there are a lot of things you have to do to make each one of these granny squares. I highly recommend doing it and the video tutorial from Bella Coco is totally amazing. It's such a great video. She is such a great teacher so make sure to check that out as well. And last but certainly not least is the Harmony Square Blanket by Attic24. I had so much fun working on this gorgeous blanket. And if you don't know Lucy from Attic24, make sure to check out her blog. She is one of the most talented and prolific crocheted blanket designers that I have ever come across before. She has the most beautiful projects. She has such a gift for combining colors and she has this amazing blog where she shares her life in England and it is just charming and there's just something beautiful about it. But I enjoyed making this project so much. I also used the Stylecraft Special DK for this blanket and I just think it looks so pretty. I have the details for everything about this blanket including the colors in a link in the description box below. I got the color combinations from Heather from The Patchwork Heart. You'll find her on Instagram. She is super talented when it comes to putting gorgeous color combinations together for crocheted blankets and I love all of these grays and pinks and mustard yellows together. I think it is just so, so pretty. And I also added this little pom-pom border because I love that it's got a little bit of a movement. I think a baby would really have fun holding on to these little pom-poms, but I'll leave a link for the tutorial for this border as well. I hope you enjoyed this episode all about crocheted baby blankets and make sure to check out the playlist so that you can get some inspiration for other baby projects. Maybe you're expecting a baby or maybe you're expecting a grand baby or maybe you just like crocheting baby blankets for your fur babies like I do. But if you would like this video, subscribe to the channel and please let me know what your favorite crocheted baby blanket patterns are your favorite because I love checking them out and I'm always on the hunt for my next project. But as always, stay safe out there and happy stitching.